anointed weapons people i've been asked numerous times to showcase what i have and today that's exactly what i bring you how's it going guys my name is dp jen i'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video if you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands 3 videos be sure to subscribe also guys i am giving away copies of borderlands 3 to win one for yourself or a friend simply make sure you are subbed and have notifications turned on drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below okay so we have rares we have epics we have legendaries and then we have those anointed versions of said legendaries the ultimate end game weapon in my opinion getting that perfect weapon specially made for your character i mean what else can you ask for and today guys i showcase all of what i've accumulated so far since playing borderlands now only do you have a zane i mean i've got an amora i've got a flak but they ain't level 50s yet so i can't really be using these weapons showcasing to you how effective they are on those characters yes like i said i've only got I've got a show love to zane zane don't get much love in the borderlands community so i'm i'm a zane main 100 but yeah guys today i showcase what i've accumulated since the game has been released and i've got some pretty badass weapons for all kinds of character classes so let's check them out and firstly people we're going to check out this one right here nuclear the dictator this is anointed for beastmaster who is flak and as we can see what it does minus 20 percent weapon damage consumes two ammo per shot while fadeaway is active gain increased accuracy and handling now the weapon itself looks pretty amazing i mean look at that that is one beautiful weapon it's actually really unique as well in the way it shoots let me put you on there you are right there i've actually got the bipod on which just makes it where you aim down sight super accurate and powerful but you can't move quick this is the quickest you can move you can't well can you jump no you can't even jump it either but you can see the way it shoots just spreads that fire and it burns through that ammo people now if we take the bipod off switch to a rifle and we can see this i don't think this i don't think it shoots as many bullets while in that uh rifle form it's a monster of a weapon, and for you Beastmasters out there, this would do you good. Okay, so next up, people, we have the Nuclear Phaser, and this is anointed for the operative, who is Zane. While Sentinel is active, fire rate is increased by 9%, and reload speed by 23%. Now, the weapon itself, is it's not the best weapon in the game, it's okay. And we can see, it looks pretty cool, though, look at that. I mean, it does look pretty cool, and it shoots quite quick anyway. Super unique as well in the way it shoots. I have the right skill tree, the right setup. I think this could be absolutely monstrous. I really do. But like I said, don't expect anything amazing for Zane damage output wise unless someone finds that perfect build. Like I said, well, I am working on it because I've recently just reset my uh, my skill points. So I've got nothing built into nobody. So I can't even showcase to you guys how effective this weapon is once you do activate that Sentinel. But hey ho, here we go. It's still a, be a decent weapon for you Zanes out there. And it's just one to my collection of uh, Zane anointed weapons. Next up, we have the oozing vigorous Rosen's Fawns. Now this, again, absolutely, it's a, it's a badass weapon when it ain't anointed. And by the way, guys, it explains you guys what anointed is. If you can look at the top of the actual, uh, the stats of the weapon, you can see the little Borderlands logo. When you got them, it's normally anointed to a individual character. This one isn't though. As you can see, on action skill end, projectile speed is increased by 100% for a short time. This is a, an amazing weapon, not being anointed. I mean, I've covered this before and it looks incredible too. I mean, just look at this. Look at the way it shoots as well. It's, it does, it deals so much power. And I've seen a few of them uh, flak builds where they're using pistols and it's so OP. It's so OP, but you, you can't do that with Zane. But either way, this is one for you guys. It's an amazing weapon. And I mean, with the benefits of being anointed, it's going to be even better. Next up, people, we have the Ferocious Lyuda. This is anointed to the operative, which is Zane. While Sentinel is active, gain 50% of damage as bonus cryo damage. Now, you know, guys, this is an absolute beast of a weapon. And because it's anointed to my character, I am going to try and build a class for maximum damage output also looking to increase that magazine size as it only comes standard with a magazine size of 10 i mean i've got uh, i think i've got a class mod which increases this let's have a look 
Um, what was that? Class model. It is an artifact, so plus 40% magazine size. So that gives me an extra three bullets. It's normally at 10, and it, it shoots ridiculously quick. And I mean, I've seen flak builds with this weapon, not anointed to him. And I mean, it's just the way it kills Grave Ward on that Mayhem Freeze on another level, people. That's what I want. That's what I plan to do. That's what I plan to bring you guys for Zane. We need a build like that for us Zane players out there. And you'll see the way it shoots. I mean, it just burns through its bullets so quick. Those we need increased magazine size. I've seen some of these drop with 22 in the mag or 20 in the mag, but it don't have the damage output this one does. This one is a 92, um, like I said, uh, Zen. And I think I actually got this. Actually, my friend got this for completing all of Zero's kill assassin missions, I believe. He was sent this via Zero within his social mail, and he was looking... Well, actually, he wasn't lucky enough because he plays as a moles so he give it to me because i play zane so yeah i'm lucky enough he did them all <laughs> great okay so next up people we have the compressing storm this is anointed for the gunner who is moles after exiting iron bear kills increase iron bear's cooldown rate by 30 percent i mean that's pretty cool it's got a 250 plus splash damage radius too consumes two ammo per shot and then 7.9 times weapon zoom now the weapon I've actually used, I've messed about with it on Zen. I mean, obviously I can't make the most of it being anointed to moles. But it's a weird one. It isn't nowhere near, in my opinion, the best sniper in the game. But what it does do is it charge shoots. It uses uh, two or three shots. And it kind of like hovers like some orbs that just strike down shock energy on any enemy. I mean, I don't think the initial target does any damage. But there we go, we've got three orbs that will just shock any, uh, two or four orbs there, sorry. That'll shock any target beneath it i mean it's okay it's not amazing i mean i wouldn't say it's a must have i mean i found it pretty boring i mean like i said i can't make the most of it being on zane but it takes way too long to charge the damage these orbs do just isn't enough so hey ho next up people we have the doc anointed to zane whoa digiclone is active regenerate 12 percent of magazine ammo per second 12 percent of this is literally not even one bullet because it's only got four in the magazine. So you literally need to wait three seconds to generate one ammo. And when it shoots like this, people, I mean, what's the point of it? I mean, obviously you can extend the magazine size, that and the other, but hey, I mean, like, is it really worth it? I'm not sure. It looks, it looks pretty cool though. I mean, I may try it out once I've built that Zane class. I mean, if you see another video on this, you never know. Cause I am going to do videos focus on weapons for certain builds on Zane because I just like I said I don't feel Zane gets enough love within the community dude I mean everyone loves that high damage output but there's much more in my opinion you can do with Zane and I also I meant to say as well people excuse my voice I've got a blood nose I've got a cold it's killing me so if I pause for a second or the video cuts it's because I'm probably sneezing or catching my breath or choking so yeah but yeah, guys, I mean, I can't really judge it at the minute. I mean, the projectiles actually stick and then explode. I mean, if I get a big magazine size modifier, I know you can with Zane with the skill trees and you can get a few artifacts and class items that do increase it. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get this over 15 shots. If that, I'd be lucky. But hey, we'll see. Okay, so next up, we have the double penetrating devastator. This one anointed to Zane. After swapping places with your Digiclone, your weapon is reloaded. We can see it's got plus 15% weapon fire rate, plus 203 splash damage radius, consumes two ammo per shot and a 1.5 times weapon zoom. I mean, it ain't spectacular in design, not gonna lie, but it shoots amazing. Look at that. This is another weapon, like I said, I will try out when I do that perfect build optimizing dps this could be one to try it out but yeah the duck pretty cool it's pretty cool okay so next up we have the unending magnificent this is anointed to all characters on action skill end deal 125 percent more weapon damage to badass named and boss enemies for short time it's highly effective versus shields, highly effective versus flesh. And it has 127 as standard in its magazine, which is just ridiculous, people. And it's 
well, I've got 177 with a 40% magazine increase artifact. But like I said, with Zane's skill tree, you can massively increase magazine size. So I could get this to way over 200. And it's, it actually shoots pretty crazy. So again, this could be a great weapon to try out when I've made the most of my build. I mean, it just doesn't stop firing people. What can we switch to here? We can switch to a taser. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure how much damage a taser is going to do, but it's a pretty cool addition. But it is all about that magazine size. Oh, it's, it's taser shock, so if you could stun an enemy with that, then just load into it with your solar uh, pistol. That's just amazing. I like it. I like it. Again, will be one I try out when I make the most of my build. Next up, people, we have Itchy the Boring Gun. This is anointed to the Beast Master, who is Flak. After using Attack Command, gain 30% life steal for a short time. Plus 26 weapon damage, plus 390 splash damage radius, and a 2.6 times weapon zoom. This is, well, it seems like an absolute monster for you beast masters out there. Let's check out how this thing... Oh, it's one of them ones where it just shoots things along the floor. I mean, I can't see this being that great against someone like Grave Ward. But, yeah. I mean, I can't really make the most of a weapon like this because I don't have a flak build but in all honesty I'm not too sure this would be that great anyway I mean it could be great against obviously bosses that stand up on the floor there's plenty of them in the game but main end game bosses like um, the Calypso twins that do hover or actually the Calypso Tyrene doesn't it could be good against Tyrene but her brother is always in the air the Grave Ward I mean he's floating about all over the shop so yeah Let's move on. Next up, people, we have a weapon I know is very, very popular indeed. It's got the speed loading Hell Walker, and this is referred to as the Doom Shotgun. And this is anointed for all characters. So my demons, your time has come. Plus 57% weapon damage, plus 10% critical damage, plus 35% reload speed, consumes two ammo per shot, highly effective versus flesh and anointed to all characters. An action skill end, Weapon status effect damage and chance are increased by 75% for a short time. Now check out how this thing shoots and how quick it is. Like I said, I don't have any speed reload perks on at the minute on any of my artifact class items or load out, my skill tree load out, but it's still, um, and this thing is super, super powerful people, as you've probably heard. So yeah, I should have got this given to me by a power. Didn't earn this myself, but it's definitely what I'm keeping in my collection. That is for sure. I mean, just look at it. It's incredible. Proper doom gun. And lastly, people, we have a shield anointed to no one other than Flak. After issuing an attack command, gain 8% movement speed for a short time. Stutter step big brother blaster. What the heck? Has a 60% chance to drop a booster that restores 60% shields, a grenade and heavy ammo. Minus 25% recharge delay, plus 10% movement speed while shield is depleted. So this thing makes you quicker, drops boosters that restore shields, grenade and heavy ammo. I mean, what more could you ask for? Shame it isn't for my character though. And guys, that is it. I don't think I have anything else anointed. I mean, I emptied out my vault. I'll quickly check because I was just getting full. My items were just, everything was just full up. It was ridiculous. I mean, there's a few things I gotta keep, but the one chomp pump I would love an anointed version of because that weapon is incredible. The flacker, burning flacker, itchy flacker, any flacker. I mean, absolutely amazing. And that's it. I don't really know, don't have enough girls in here. But yeah, guys, that is it. Those are my anointed items collection. Tell me down below in that comment section what's the best anointed item you have for your character. How does it affect your character? What does it do? Let me know. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.